Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to uh, just talk about some strippers, wire strippers. And uh, the reason why uh, you see all the strippers before you right now, I was just going through my bag and I was about to clean my tools up. As you see, they're all, they're all dirty. And I was about to clean my tools up. And I was saying, well, man, how many, how many uh, pairs of wire strippers do you need uh, or do you have to do one thing? And I said to myself, that one thing is maybe cut one wire. So it's like, you know, I mean, how many pairs of strippers do you need to do one job? And what you see before you, this is over the years. Uh, I've gotten rid of, of tools along the years since I've been an electrician. And uh, this basically what's, what's left uh, as far as uh, these are all the tools that I use uh, now as uh, my wire strippers. Uh, I use some more than others. Uh, like at the, I, um, I'm gonna pick out the ones that are my favorites that I that I love to use. But uh, I have some one some here that I consider uh, specialty tools that uh, because of some kind of shape or form, you know, I use them for certain things, not everyday wire, wire stripping. And others, I just my default tool that I go to, and I use all the time. Some of them has uh, replaced others uh, as my number one go-to tool, and I'll get to that in a minute. I've forgotten the, some of the names of, um, some of the brand names of some of them, uh, maybe one. Uh, it's right, right here on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Uh, and, it's, and it's this one right here. Can't think of the name. I know it's an OTC, uh, but I can't think of the name of that tool. <laughs> I can't think of the name of that tool right now. Uh, but anyway, uh, they are, these are all high quality tools. Some, um, work better than others. Uh, some, um, like I say, some I use more on a daily basis, more than others. Some of them are sitting in, inside of a bag, um, one of my, uh, tool bags, and I only use it for special occasions, meaning, uh, special jobs, especially tools, I can, and I consider that bag as my specialty, specialty bag. Uh, others... Don't see much work at all. Uh, I have a few of them that doesn't see any work at all. Um, but let me just go through some of the names. And uh, this won't be a long video. Just go through some of the ones that I use. Uh, well, I'm going to call out the names of them. And then we'll get to the, the ones that I use uh, quite a bit. Okay. Well, right here, this is the one. I can't think of the name. You guys go on about I just recently did did these. I didn't feel like going to look and find the name through my videos. But I did a review on these right here. On these, I did a review. And I bought these because of this, this little bent, uh, this little bent uh, tip right here. Sometimes when you have to splice wire and you don't have, like I said before, you have a little, a part that uh, you put a bus, splice, a bus splice on it. And you could be inside of a jam confined location, a little small area, box to work with. We could put a bus splice on there just to extend the wire and add some wire to it. That's the main way I bought, that's the main way I bought this, this, this tool right here. That's why this is one of my specialty tools. Also, and I, I, I got it in this bunch because it has, it's a stripper function as well. So, and I can't think of the name of this one. And this is my ideal lines. Uh, I like these things here. Um, it was out of the, the, these or the channel lock. So they, they both look the same. They don't really feel the same. But I do like the ideal alignment uh, better than I like uh, Klein. I used to like Klein pliers. I don't have anything against them now. But I just like the way the ideal feel better. Uh, ideal or the channel lock. I love the way those feel. These, uh, these adjustable strippers right here. I love these things right here. They're very precise, and uh, I use these like if I'm working, I need to work in a hurry, and I'm not like rushing or anything, but I'm working inside of a panel, a control panel or something like that. Uh, you know, and I'm, these are real nice. This just recently was added to my tool collection. This is by a company called Nico, and these are really nice. These is a really nice. These uh, replaced now my number one. Uh, needle nose multi tube strippers in my in my bag. These, so I these are my go to. 
I love these things. These this is my this is better than the Kleins. I'm telling you guys, you I mean for me. I love these things. Now, this is the thing. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but right now, this is the stuff for me. Nico. The next one is this one by Klein. I think this is the hybrid. They call these hybrid pliers. But anyway, I also like these too. I like these. This is, it don't have as much, you know, they're the same thing as a, um, as the Lyman's, but it don't have the weight as the Lyman have. And plus you can, you know, you can bring these, this is a multi-tool, you can bring it up on a ladder with you and you can, uh, if you need to strip wire or what have you, you can bring these and you can crimp, uh, you can cut off bolts and what, whatever, but nice, very nice. These right here by Greenlee, this is for stripping real, really small wire. 18 got from 20 gauge to 30 gauge. I consider this a specialty tool too. I have this inside my bag, my specialty tool bag. I love the way these feel also. I like these pliers. Um, so, um, really good. Now, uh, these are uh, my insulated pliers right here. And um, I can't think I, I bought these from, uh, I had these ooh, years ago. But anyway, and I just got bought, put this in a bunch because there's some really nice pliers and, you know, I don't use them as much. Uh, I, I used to use them a lot when I worked in an industrial environment, but I don't use them uh, that much because uh, I, I'm, I'm able to turn the power off now, you know, when I'm working at commercial and, and residential, I can turn the power off. So some, so, sometime I had to work in a panel and you couldn't turn the power off because if you do, you just shut a whole machine down. You couldn't do that, but I used to use them a lot in there and uh, they were really nice. These were really nice, and but um, my client, they, you know, when they came out with this one, this with this curve uh, uh, grip, and uh, see, my tools do get dirty, you see, <laughs> but I just cleans them up. They're dirty now, yeah. But anyway, uh, it came with this uh, this curved handle. This was really nice when it first came out, but since then they had other stuff that came out that uh, they still feel good. That feels a lot better than this. So this, I don't go to these as much. These right here, when they came out, these were right here. When they first came out, these, Pline did. This was the stuff. This was the stuff. But uh, since uh, up until I bought these about a week ago, or maybe gone two weeks ago, I, I've taken these out of my bag and I replaced them with these. I replaced them with these. This is this man. I'm telling you, on a scale from one to ten, fellas, if I had to rate it for like like right now today, a one a one to ten, I would I would give it a twelve. This is the stuff. Uh, now anyway, these used to be number one in my bag, but they're no longer in my bag. I don't carry them around. I consider this a specialty tool also because this is a it, it cuts Romex. Uh, and the strip wire, but also Romex. So I hold on to this because of that reason. And these, these flowers here gotta be, oh my goodness, over 25 years old, I wanna say. Maybe about 20, 25 years old. Yeah. These right here about the same, oh, I'll say at least 20, more than 20. Uh, I keep these because Unlike these, these only have certain like two holes to cut the to cut the bolts. These have more than that. You know, you can have, you cut several size bolts with these. So that's why I hold on to these. Uh, like that. I had given them to my son, but he didn't like them, so I, I got them back. Uh, and I'm glad he didn't like them because uh, because I really wanted these. These uh, heavy duty. Uh, Di uh, diagonal pliers, I call them dykes, and you know I'm sure uh, y'all heard the name dykes before, and I call them dykes. These are really heavy duty. Sometimes they are too big, but I like them anyway because I have a big, I have big hands, and I like the fact that I can cut, you know, whatever I apply these to is going to cut through it. So I like the, I like the fact that it, it, it's it, they're big and they're heavy duty. So just the diagonal pliers by Klein, I like those. This one here. Is uh, also this is have the bent nose on the front, and I consider this one of my specialty tools. Also, when I have to cut Romex, I'm inside of a box, and I'm cutting a sheet from around Romex cable um, inside of a box. I just put it and cut. 
I mean, pull insulation off the Romex. This is where I have this one. I mainly bought, I think, I thought they was trying to replace, when Klein came out with this one, I always thought they were trying to replace this one. Uh, because if you look at a bit, they're kind of alike, but this one still have more than this one. But um, as far as the teeth side, this goes up to 18, from 10 to 18 gauge. This goes up from 10 to 26 gauge wire. Uh, but still, I always thought they was trying to replace this one right here. But this is a nice, this is a nice tool also by, by, by Klein. I like that. This heavy duty uh, wire strippers, I like these tools also. I like this tool. Um, it really does feel heavy duty. Like I say, I really like it. Uh, Southwire came out with a version like this after Klein, like they always do. Uh, you know, copycat off everybody else's tools. But, uh, you know, I, I, I like these by Klein. You know, they really, sh they, they are sharp. They are sharp. And, um, they cut really well. They hold. They've been holding up pretty well, and um, the the handles feel really good to me. And and like I say, I'm, I have real big hands, so I like how they fit, how they are form fitting inside my hand. I like these pliers. Now these, I recently bought these from uh, Walmart. This is the Heart Brain, and out of all the tools over in Walmart, I think in the Heart Brain for the electrician's tools, I think this is the best one they ever made over there. This is so compatible with the Klein right here. I think if you, if I could take these grips off and make them fit on here, man, and, and remove this H off here, you wouldn't know the difference. Well, you wouldn't know the difference to, to a point, but these are so, these pliers are so nice. Really nice, you know, and uh, I think depends, I think they'll hold up. That's what well, a test of time is always, a, always, a, um, you know, gotta think about that, the test of time. But depends on how you take care of your tools. You know, you won't see me trying to cut bolts and nails with, with the uh, where you cut the wire at. You won't see me trying to cut piano wire with things like that. So these pliers gonna last me. They're gonna last me. This is another uh, another uh, specialty tool that I bought. We had this the wire uh, wire stripper. This one reaching the side of boxes also. If there's one wire or two wires that have to really strip, I could put it inside the box and and pull insulation off and. You know, that that's going to work hand in hand with this one. And I, if I have to put um, a butt splice on it, just to bring uh, make the wire longer, uh, I can strip the insulation off, put the butt splice on, crimp it, and I, and, and I got it. So but that works. That's why, I, I, you know, I got these two right here. This one right here, this is, uh, I think I did this once before. I showed you guys how this, how this works. This is uh this this is a wire strip that re re removes insulation off of uh off of wire. I'm gonna just show you how it works right quickly. You put it up like you put that in there. You turn it like that one time, one full time basically. You push this to the front like this. The blade gonna turn sideways. There you go. Or right, there you go. And uh, so, and this is a. This is really nice, man. It's by Ideal Industries. There's a lot of people out make them now. Um, I don't know who was the first one that came out with them, but I got my hand on one, and it cuts this. It cuts it nice and clean. It didn't damage the uh, the other wires at all, at all. So that's this is my collection of uh, wire stripper, and I'm kind of <laughs> I kind of answered my own question. I was just as I was going through them just now. And I was asking myself, really, why do I need so many wire strippers? But, and as I, as I was going through these things right now, I reminded myself, well, each each one of these things have their own purpose. I bought each one of these uh, strippers for a specific purpose. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and all the way, all the way around. So, um, you know, it, it's been justified. I answered my own question, God darn it. Why I bought these things. Um, and anyway, and also what I'm going to do, I want to show you my favorite ones. And out of all, my favorite ones that I go to, it's going to be this one again by Nico. My one, this one I go to, and I go to 
this one a lot. Um, let's see which one else I use a lot. It used to be this one, but I'm just going with my favorites now. And uh, it before I grabbed the knee boy, it was just it was these two right here. And oh, well, no, it was it was these three. I want to see it was these three right here that I was going through a lot. But now it's it's this one, this one, and this one. What I go through a lot. Nico Klein Klein, uh, and this one. These what I, I use these so much. All of them are important to me now. <laughs> this is how to answer my own question. Uh, but all of these are important. And uh, But these are the ones that I go looking for uh, in my bag. They have to be in my bag at all times. Uh, when I'm going out to uh, do any kind of work, I want these three now. Okay, man. Uh, I don't want to hold up too much of your time. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you first for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment if you choose. And uh, with that being said, man, peace out. Take care. Take care and peace out.